and Mo's latest bar right opposite the Enmo Theatre. Now I'm about to show you a beautiful cocktail that we serve here quite frequently and it's an old drink taken from New Orleans. This drink was really popular back in the 1880s. It was created by a guy called Henry C. Ramos uh, and it became so popular that he had to employ hundreds of kids to hide behind the restaurant to shake this drink up because it's a, it's a real a piece of hard work but in this case uh, the, the juice is worth the, the squeeze. So let's put this thing together and hopefully you can enjoy these at home and of course even in your own pot. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do with the Ramos Gin Freeze is to get a nice clean crisp highball glass as cold as we can. You can keep this in the fridge uh, prior but I'm just going to show this today with a, with a little glass of ice water and that will serve the purposes just perfectly and the water will also come in play a little later on but I'll talk to that in a moment. So now we've got our crisp clean gold cold glass filled with ice water we're going to start to assemble the Ramos Gin Fizz. So in my little jug here I've got 15 mils of lemon juice and 15 mils of lime juice and for whatever reason we always put that in first. Next thing up is our sugar syrup. Now this is an American cocktail and uh, it has a fair bit of sugar in it uh, compared to some other drinks and that would be 30 mils. So we've got our 30 mils in there. No Ramos Gin Fizz will be complete without any gin. Uh, unfortunately, Simon will use Fords. Not only is si Ford, Simon Ford a really good friend of ours, but his gin is absolutely immaculate and it really pops in here with all the beautiful citrus flavors that come with it. And then the final ingredient will be fresh cream. Now you might irk at fresh cream, but this drink really needs to be tasted to be believed. So that's 60 mils of fresh pouring cream. Now when this drink starts to become hard work, it's in the shake. Historically this trick was shaken for around 12 minutes but we've got a new technique that kind of works which is like a reverse Japanese dry shake. So all we're going to do straight off the bat is to fill this up with ice and shake it for 15 seconds as hard as I can. Here we go. seconds and now the second part to this drink is that Japanese reverse shake so we're going to pour all of that in there throw it around get some air into it help us achieve that lovely souffle effect at the end then we're going to add our egg white so we need around a whole egg white uh, we're in a bar we can measure this out it'll be around 30 mils but a whole egg white is what you're going to need now we're going to pour that into there with the egg white and that's where the hard work really begins where we have to shake this drink now for 45 seconds so put the kettle on and I'll see you in a moment. Woo! Shaking is now complete and our Ramos is ready to be finished off. So we're going to discard the water and ice and then Get what you use for a strainer. Now because it's had a little bit of ice water in there, the, the, the cream doesn't stick to the side of the glass so well, so it'll be easier to clean up, but also it helps the souffle effect work a lot more smoothly. So now what we have to do, again, is leave this drink to settle up and kind of robust itself, and now we're going to leave that there just to rest, like, like we used to do with the old stout beers, just going to let it settle up for about a minute and I'm going to finish it off with some soda water. Now to finish a Ramos off we've got to add a, uh, a secret ingredient. Now this drink became really popular because of this secret ingredient and lots of people tried to kind of really find out what it was and as it turned out it was a uh, orange flower water. Now a couple of hundred years have passed since, since this drink was put together uh, all the way down in New Orleans there but what's happened in the future or current times is that we're adding orange flower water to the surface of the drink because often drinks with eggs in them have a bit of a pungent nose and we find that rather than putting it in the drink the rose water just sits nicely on top and gives it a nice aromatic so I'll just squirt some orange water on there that's just a little atomizer that you would find in any kind of you know perfume or oil from a, from a catering store or perfumier store so you can see that it's got a nice tight, ready, tight head on it and we're just going to go through right in the centre and this is kind of what the test of the Ramos is, if it's going to rise up nicely for me and it has, so that's just kind of where it needs to be. And then of course the final test for a Ramos Gin Fizz is of course to make sure that our straw goes in the centre 
and stays in the center and doesn't flop over like that. Now Fortunate Sun serves hundreds of these cocktails every week and we wanted a point of difference on the, uh, the world's most talked about cocktail and we thought what better than to have a little bit of fun and to put some hundreds and thousands sprinkles on there so the stupidest garnish on the world's most interesting drink and that's kind of the juxtaposition we think it deserves so hopefully you enjoy that hopefully the Ramos Gin Fizz now makes sense to you pop down to the Fortunate Sun and have one of these if it all goes wrong for you at home catch you soon